Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will talk about the multi-page form. Let's dive right into it. Let's add our page break and throw it to the bottom of the page. We'll click the page break, we'll go to settings and we're going to add another page. I'll show you why this donkey is here in just a second. So we will throw some elements here, let's say another address and text box and save the form, let's publish it and we'll do next this is our required field and we can see that we have two pages, you can do as many as you like and once you hit finish then it will publish your form and we'll submit your form. Let's go back to our page break settings and see some some of the capabilities of, of, the, of the page break. <clears throat> so you can just skip validation which means that if I do skip validations then I'll go back to uh, my account to, to the first page and do next then it will not block me from moving to the next page just like it did before. So we can do show progress indicator which will give you a progress bar on the top of the page. You can see it's halfway up and you can customize the entire styles of the page break. So you can select here the pager, the line, the pager buttons, the header, the footer, and the progress indicator. So if I change the progress indicator I can change the, the color of this to be black and the size and position I can say whatever I like. So that's that. Let's go back to our page break. And we can hide the finish button so you won't be able to submit from the from the progress bar if you want to have your own um, your own submit button. So if I'll throw a submit submit button over here throw it in my last page then it will submit only from this. Go back to our settings we'll click advanced and here is our header and this is why we have the donkey over there. Basically you can add a header and footer to your page and it will just follow um, whatever pages you're adding. Let's take it off and we can see that it's gone. So that's the page header and footer and if I'll, add, if I'll add a footer then you can see that it will be in the bottom of the page whatever pages I'm adding. Let's clear that, save the form, go back to our settings, see some, of, uh, some more options here. So we cover the styling, the back button you can, uh, <coughs> you can uh, change the text of it can set it the back, next, and finish. You can set it however you like. Another thing you can do is to hide it completely. So let's say I'm hiding this completely and now I want to create my own navigation. So let's see how we can do this. Let's go back to our forms, refresh this, and you can see that I don't have the, the page break navigation anymore. What we can do is add a button and on the button we'll go let's do we'll change it to next and we'll change the, bu the button type to go to next we'll save this let's go back let's change the style of this a little bit we'll set it uh make a background that's fine let's change the font okay that's our next button Let's go to the next page. I'll copy and paste it over here. We'll call this prev and we'll change this to go to prev. We'll save the we'll save the form, refresh, and we can see that we have the navigation to next and prev. Another cool thing you can do is duplicate your page. So I go to settings, I can click duplicate, and it will just create it will duplicate the entire page into a, now it was page two, so now I have three pages. And um, I can navigate here 
few pages, one, two, three. If I click one, it will take me to page one. I click two, page two, I click three, page three. And you can switch the location of the pages if I want page three to be number one. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to number one. And now I'm at number one. So if I'll publish my form, I can see that um, I switched uh, the ordering of the pages. Let's set this back. Great. Refresh it. And there we have it. Next prep. Another thing we can do is really cool. Let's go, to, we're at page number three. And let's say we want to, we want this button to go somewhere else, not necessarily next to previous. I want it to go to a specific page. So I can do a few things. First of all, I can select here which page it should go back to. Page number one, two, or three. Let's select page number one. Or what we can do is add a hidden field and and uh, do let's say custom page number and then I can go to my button and tell the button go to custom page number and then this value you can either set uh, manually or you can set through a calculated field or do some calculations and assign the value into the into the um, hidden field that gives you very strong navigation another navigation option let's go back to our first page we'll add the drop down menu we'll call this navigate <clears throat> we'll go to the settings and we'll get rid of all the options and we'll go to advanced and we're going to tell form titan that this is a uh, a page rank navigation mode and again we can style this as we like let's give it a little background and we'll call this that's fine and let's change the font a little bit and we'll make it black We'll save the form. Let's copy this into the rest of our pages. We'll put this over here. And we'll put this over here. We'll save the form. I'll refresh this. And now you can see that I can navigate to whatever page I like. That's wonderful. Last thing I wanted to show you is that you can change the label of your page. So this will be, for example, let's go to our page one. This will be account page. And the next one, let's go back to the settings. This is account page. This will be uh, contact page. And our next page will be duplicate page. We'll save our form, refresh the window. Now you can see that I have it named not just one, two, three. You can name it as you like, obviously, with whatever you're using it for. And this is how it's done. Have fun.